Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Math Channel, and I'm now answering question number seven um, from the February March 2020 IGCSE Cambridge um, 0580 paper four variant two, which is the extended version of the paper of the exam. And this um, question, um, I'm going to actually answer question seven in three parts, three videos, because each part of this question has is like about a different topic so part a is about one topic part b is about variation part c is about uh, i think sequences and number patterns so i'm gonna as i want to save each of my videos as um topic and playlists as well as qu uh, paper qu playlists i will make three separate videos so seven part a here is about um constructing an inequality yeah, so it says Naga or Naja, I don't know how to pronounce it, has n marbles. Panav has three times as many marbles as Naja. Naja loses five marbles and Panav buys ten marbles. Together they now have more than 105 marbles. Write down and solve an inequality in n. So I'm going to start off, just take this, break it down step by step. A lot of students get confused by this type of question. All right, and um, just break it down step by step. So it says Naga has n marbles. So let's he starts off with n, n, n marbles. N marbles, sorry. Okay, and Panav has three times as many marbles as as Naja. So that's three times n. Then it says Naja loses five marbles. So Naja now loses five marbles. So it's n minus five, and Panav buys ten marbles. So what he has, he's going to add ten to it. Now together they have more than one hundred and five marbles. So we have n minus 5, which is how much Naga has, Naga has, sorry, plus the amount that Panav have, which is 3n plus 10. Together, the sum of those marbles now is more than 105. Okay, so now we have an inequality. We've written down the inequality. Now we have to solve it. So to solve this inequality, we've got to uh, make n the subject of this inequality. So we've got n plus 3n, which is 4n, minus 5 plus 10, which is plus 5 is greater than 105 so we, we can subtract 5 from both sides so 4n is greater than 100 105 minus 5 is 100 and then we divide both sides by 4 so we have n is greater than 100 over 4 so we can say n is greater than 25 and there's the answer to part a all right so that's how you construct an inequality or sometimes it might be an equation if it says equal to and that's how you then solve it all right so it's something that you can take step by step don't have to uh, get confused by like this big sentence like a lot of students look at this and say well i thought this was an, a maths exam not an english exam all right no you just take it step by step and translate everything into math so panav has naga has n marbles panav, panav has three times as many marbles as naga so we have to translate this english sentence into maths what does that mean that means three times n then naga loses five marbles how do you translate that into maths if he has n marbles and loses 5 marbles, well, that's n minus 5. That's how you translate that from English into maths. And Panav buys 10 marbles means he's going to have 10 more marbles. He had 3n already. He, he, you have to add 10 to that. And then it says together. So together means when you add them together, you're going to have more than, greater than 105. So it's all about translating these statements in or these sentences from English into mathematical statements. And then once you've got your inequality, then solving it. Okay, so I hope that was clear. Um, thank you for watching. Other questions um, from this paper you'll find in the playlist that will appear somewhere in this region here. Other questions from this topic, which is about um, inequality, uh, constructing inequalities, I guess it will be under algebraic manipulation, will be found in the playlist over here. And you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. Thank you for watching and see you soon.